for today's video, I am decluttering my overgrown lipstick collection. So I kept stuff because I liked the color, or like the idea of it in theory, but in reality, I know what I'm using, and it's about a quarter of this. And the sad part is, there was more I had decluttered throughout the year and given to people. So, it's basically self-reflection. Some stuff is going, there's something wrong with it, there's the color doesn't work on me. Some stuff's going because I hate the formula. Some stuff, it's just a kind of product that I don't use. This is milk in a mug and uh, let's get into it. All right, we have my lipsticks, the Go Bin, um, and a trash can, as well as a bunch of other things. A makeup rack and makeup box, as well as make Milton cookies because I'm a monster. For starters, off the bat, I bought these from Riley Rose because I've been wanting to try them for a while and I just don't like them. Um, the color payoff doesn't really do much and it doesn't really hydrate my lips and it smells. I just don't like this kind of product, and that's why I didn't buy it for a long time, but they were being discontinued, so I want to try them before they are gone forever, and I, I love the packaging, I just don't like the product, so simple as that. This I bought once because I was out shopping, it's the Urban Decay, like basically lip remover, and I bought this when I was out shopping once because the lip product I had on was so bad, it was painfully drying my lips and it was clumping and flaking and staining and bleeding and everything that could possibly go wrong was going wrong and I could not get out for the life of me so I ran to Sephora and bought this because I was desperate so ah, this I bought because my husband's biggest gripe is transfer <laughs> And so he's like, can you please find something to help with transfer? I was like, oh, I'll buy this and see if it helps. And you know what? I never used it and I know for a fact it's expired. So this I bought because, um, so this is the Beauty Bakery lip remover pads. And my one complaint of these is that when you take one, you take more than one with it, which feels wasteful, but that's like my only complaint. I bought these because I got some Beauty Bakery lips and I have heard from friends experiences that nothing takes it off. You got to use some like their remover to get it off. So I bought it when I got them. So that stays. These are all of my lip pencils. I'm keeping them all. I They're all shades I use and I try to remember to use them because it does help but these are the only ones I own so all of them are staying. For the Velveteens. I find the formula hella inconsistent. Some days it's fine, some days I have problems, some days it bleeds like this, some days it's really watery, some days it's clumpy and dry. I don't know why, but this formula's hella inconsistent. And some of these are the metallics, and I just have, I just don't know where metallics, I just don't reach for it, so. I just didn't care for the color on me. This is. Willow from Black Moon Cosmetics. It's too brown for my taste, so. This. Okay, so the packaging is super cute. There's ice cream on it. There's a little cherry on the top. It's called Lolly. I like the color. The applicator is horrendous. There's like no cush to it. It's just stick. The formula itself isn't anything special. In fact, if it's not a perfectly equal pigment across the board, like if I move my mouth, if I find color settling into the creases of my lips or clumping on the non-creases, like little islands of color, I will hate that. This did it and I hate the applicator so much anyways and it's a bit drying so. This formula, depending on my lip day, is either perfect or drying and clumping and I just don't have the patience for that life. Uh, there's lipstick. I found blood a lot. I had another shade. I think a friend took the other one and I don't have patience. Nope. No bleeding. Hate this. Does not come off. It's just a nightmare to work with. I hate this. It's the uh, lip paint by Medusa's makeup. I had a bunch of them because I was doing their monthly subscription box for a while. 
I thought I got rid of this last one. Hate it. Drying, watery, thin, inconsistent formula. And something I like to say to keep in mind is that just because I have a problem with these products doesn't mean you will. You may find these products and love them. I have no complaints. I have dry sensitive skin and by proxy lips, so a lot of stuff just dries me out easily. And because of that, I I hate wearing it and I won't wear it, so there's no point to hold on to it. Let's see. The metallic lipsticks weird by Kat Von D. And this is all the Kat Von D lipsticks I have are her old formula before she reformulated. I like Hellbent, I'm keeping Hellbent. I don't like any of these darker formulas. Look, ugh, they didn't perform as well as the bright reds. Tijuana's saying, nope, you're going to. So I'm keeping Hellbent and Tijuana. I am disappointed with these um, Anastasia lipsticks. I really like the packaging. I think it's really pretty. Um, I think these are some really great shades. And I bought them all at the end of last summer. And you know what? <laughs> They're not as creamy as I like my lipsticks to be. They're more stiff and they drag and tug on my lips because I, I like a creamier lipstick that just glides and just goes on. It's comfortable wear. This is like wearing clay to me, so I don't like it. I love the shade Aftershock I have it on right now. Baywatch didn't like on me. This one, I remember last summer, melted into the tube and I told myself I was gonna somehow fix it. That was a year ago. Uh, this color, in theory, I thought was gonna look really good on me. And then when I put it on, it was horrendous. And there's some stuff I bought. It looked great on me in my last apartment. Now that I'm in, I don't know, more natural lighting of an apartment, I'm like, oh Jesus, that does not look good. I don't like these Flower Beauty liquid lips. They did the thing where I said where it doesn't necessarily solve any creases, but it does like islands of color on the big parts of your lip. Nope. I want even. Oh, I'm so sad to get rid of this. My friend Taylor got this for me last summer and she saw it and thought of me. I'm like, of course she did. It's like, it's a cat. It's a classic red. This is so comfortable to wear and it looks so good on. However, it bleeds like nuts. Like people are like, wherever I go, like your lipstick's bleeding. I'm like, God dang it. And I've tried it so many different texts. I've tried a lip liner without lip liner, with lipstick, but I've tried it all. This just bleeds like, ugh, it bleeds so bad, which makes me so sad because I really like it. I love how it feels. I love how it looks. I love packaging, but man, keeping that, keeping that. Keeping, 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 keeping. Ugh. This is the same, this sugar pill lipstick. I have the same complaint as the Anastasia, Anastasia ones. It's more clay-like than creamy, so it drags and it's like wearing clay versus not creamy and comfortable like a like from a lipstick, so. But I love the packaging, it's cute, but I just don't reach for it. I need to figure out my opinion on this. I know my opinion, I don't do tints. I bought these thinking I was going to become a tint person. And whenever I put them on, I was like, it's not pigmented enough. So I kept building it, building it, building it. But that would be uneven because it was a tint and not pigmented. And I'm just not a tint person. I'm a pigment, bold lip kind of gal. So, um, I didn't like these very much. <laughs> uh, let's see. Which one of you? That's the one I want to keep. Blue. I'm a very specific person. For my lips, I either like a classic red or a rosy pink, a rosy red, or a nude rose. Blues look terrible on me. I look sickly. I bought the whole sugar pill um, teacup nudie lip collection. And the only color that looks good on me is clink. So I'm gonna get rid of these other four because they just don't look good on me. This, I love the formula. I don't like the new, like I don't like any of the colors from the whole collection. They're just too brown for my taste. I prefer a more rosy nude than a straight, I'm putting terracotta brown poop on my lips. These 
are interesting because they look like the shades in the tube, but with heat, gold flux appear. And it's really cool, but I just, these shades look terrible on me, so don't hold on to something you're not gonna wear. Uh, this was a freebie at Ulta, I don't like it. I remembered why I didn't like that Wikilux. Um, I didn't like this product. It doesn't flex with the skin, so like it stays on like paint, but also flex off like chips of paint, and it's terrible, terrible. These two, I'm so disappointed because my favorite um, makeup YouTuber, Jessica Bronze or Jam Beauty 89, um, this is her favorite lip gloss and she hyped it up so much. And what my only complaint about them is that for a pigmented gloss, it's on even pigment. And like, I keep giving them a try and I keep end up being not happy with it. So, this is my complaint about it. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it settles. And I know it sounds weird. Hmm. I'm so sorry, Jessica. I tried so hard to love them. It's just, it was a forced love. So, I'm keeping why not. I'm keeping. Wagasa Girl. Probably butchered that, I'm sorry. The Dita Von Tease lipstick. I'm almost out of this. It's been a go-to for a while. I am still... I would never pick this shade myself, but I'm still playing with it, so. And it's uh, Very Victoria by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm keeping Tijuana. I am getting rid of this. This is a really... This is my favorite lip gloss, but this col color just doesn't work on me. It's like just it's not a great color on me so this one's going it's sour cherry you know this was pretty dead scent of getting rid of and I played it the other day but you know for what I want out of this flower beauty product their ultimate lip butter for a more pigmented version I get out of the Kaja uh, what is this called I don't remember what it's called but it's by Kaja and it's a clicker and it's a heart shape for a more of a tinted version, I get of the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm and Bubble. So, of the two, I, of the three, these two I keep because those two I reach for weekly versus that one I'm just like mad at it. <laughs> this one, it just doesn't, this shade just doesn't look good on me. And it's Love's First Kiss from the Sleeping Beauty Collection. I never got to get the shade Snow White, and I'm mad about that, but I know for a fact that one can go. I'm for sure keeping this one for the Mickey Mouse Collection by Besame, and this is the Mickey Mouse Red. Like, hello, you're sticking around. Don't worry, you're gonna get a lot of love. <laughs> However, this one, Mermaid Kiss, it's a weird shade. It's more like a shimmery tint over your lips. And I, and as much as I am in love with this packaging, I like this packaging to be my home. I just don't like this one versus the other two. I am keeping. Am I? Yeah, I'm definitely keeping that one. You know, I was expecting to hate this on myself, but I like it. I am pleasantly surprised. And as the shade Starfish Pink. This so one stays. Um, this one is I'm keeping. It's called Meow. I wore this to my engagement party. Da 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 da. I like this one. One bite. Am I keeping this one? Pulling out the stuff I know for sure I am keeping. 
so I'm not sitting here overthinking every little thing. Okay. I really hate when the lipstick leans and you get scraping on the side of the cup. Dang it. So that holds the loose. I'm going to keep this. I think it's the only dark lipstick I'm keeping because I wasn't happy with any of the formulas, so just don't break up your bullet casing. This is called one bite. It doesn't help that my arms are way tanner than my face. So swatching tells me nothing. I keep them both. I can't decide. This is a lot of work to make it look good, so I'm not gonna keep it for that. I really like this. I wore it a lot last summer. I like the color. It's a keeper. Oh yeah, this is going. This is a complete and utter nightmare to work with. It's called ink and paint, and I'm getting I get like, oh, why is all my stuff melty? <gasps> is it because it was in the window? <gasps> Bad. Ugh, it's so clumpy, I'm even in a nightmare, and no, goodbye. Yeah, and that one I just had on, it tints your skin after it's, it's weird. It's this weird stain, gloopy nightmare fuel. Here's the last three. This is one I really like. Love this color. And I know for sure the other two are the ones I'm getting as soon as two days I really liked and two I really hated. This looks like a cake frosting and not in a good way at all. So bad on me. So bad. And the, yeah, this one's called Hey, Kiss Me. And this one was also just really bad on me. This one's called High Fruities. When it's all said and done, I feel like this is a pretty good uh, results. This is everything I'm getting rid of, and this is everything I'm keeping. As I put stuff back, I'll let you know. These Physicians Formula Healthy Lip are my absolute favorite. If they were to be discontinued, I would clean out every Ulta, Target, Walgreens, CVS, what have you, to buy these. The Healthy Lip by Physicians Formula is so pigmented and so even and so comfortable and hydrating. It doesn't dry out my lips and it doesn't clump or settle or bleed or anything. I put this on before work, wear it all day at work without replying once, you know, eating, talking to customers, working all day, come home for dinner and I'd still be looking perfect. Like, this is the lipstick that no matter what I'm doing or where I go, people stop me and ask me what I'm wearing and what it is. This is it, it's a Physicians Formula Healthy Lip. Let's see, for my other tall guys. This is an old beat up shade by Colourpop called Three Way. I don't know if they still make it, but I have a dress that matches perfectly, so I always wear it with it. These two I wear all the time. This one is crazy for you. It's a heart melter, there you go, heart melter. And then shade crazy for you, that's a great everyday shade. This is Aftershock by Colourpop. This is another comfy everyday shade, Bubble by Kush. I am by Milk Makeup from the Kush Lip Balm. Keeping Clink, I like this shade. This is Alone by Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. It smells like Christmas cookies and it looks so pretty on. However, this is not a wear all day, have no problems thing. It, it, it gets everywhere. I love the shade What If by ColourPop. It's very, I, this is probably my favorite lipstick formula and it's only like $6. Favorite liquid lipstick, favorite lipstick, lipstick. <laughs> my favorite lip gloss of all time, the Wet Cherry by Lime Crime. In each of those, by the way, my, my favorite lipstick, my favorite liquid lipstick, regular lipstick, and lip gloss, all of those are under $20. Gotta keep my Agent Carter collectible lipsticks by Besame. This one is very worn out, but it's American Beauty by Besame and so pretty. Keeping one bite, keeping the Mickey Mouse one, keeping Starfish Pink and Water Blossom Red. I really want more from the Charlotte Olympia line by MAC. I'm mad I didn't buy more, but I love this lipstick and I have it in Leading Lady Red. So pretty. Love these Flower Beauty lipsticks. I have Autumn Rose and Rosy Garden. My other favorite drugstore lipsticks are Soap and Glory. I have the shades Pommy Girl and Why Not. I used to have more shades, but I either decluttered some of them or others I've used up. 
I had a different red shade that actually dropped at work at the hat shop and it splattered and that was very sad. From Boys Boy? I don't know. And Wakasa Girl. Like, like I said, I swear I'm butchering those names. Hellbent and Tijuana. And lastly, Dita Von Tees. I think this is manageable. These are lipsticks I actually love and use all the time. These two I'm still testing out and forming opinions on, but everything else I really love and use regularly. At least half of these I've worn in the past two weeks. I feel really good of what I'm keeping and what I'm letting go of because this was lies. <laughs> this was I was convincing myself I was going to wear it and I wasn't going to, so good on me. Wow, that feels just so much better. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz, ring the bell, whatever you gotta do to keep coming back and supporting me so I will be encouraged to make more videos and I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching.